What's going on, you guys? It's your boy X back in the building with another video, man. We in here, Toledo, and as you can see, the snow is coming down. It's March, so uh, you know it's still winter out here. But the snow, these little flurries, supposed to be stopping soon. As you can see, dog, I'm feeling so good. I met this new girl over the weekend. I took my kids to go play, bro. My spirit and my energy. I'm on 10 right now, bro. I'm so happy, bro, man. I got a lot of stuff going good in my life, man. I just need to stay focused. Uh, don't be around any dysfunctional people. Don't be around any negativity. Uh, always have great vibes, good energy. And, uh, man, I'm blessed, yo. I'm blessed, for real. I I'm really, really happy, man, in my life, for real. Uh, can't complain because it ain't gonna do you no good but with that being said uh yeah man let's hop in this truck uh and get this money get this money i'm gonna hook y'all up right here yeah so give me one second you know i'll be doing everything by myself Cruz, what up my dog hope everything going good for you all the family and everything bro broski let me tighten y'all up real quick. And uh yeah. Let's get this thing going. Ah. Uh, hey. <laughs> hey, somebody gonna tell me Dr. Pepper tastes like cherry pop. It's like, boy, you need to stay off them drugs. If you think Dr. Pepper tastes like cherry coke, you fucked up in life. For real. You really fucked up in life. Really, really. It, listen, Dr. Pepper got 23 flavors. Cherry might be one of them, uh, but it don't taste like no cherry Coke, though. <laughs> Shit. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you see what I'm saying, bro? You see what I'm saying about this? Hey, <laughs> goddamn seat belt. Let me make sure y'all got a good view of it. Uh, man. Uh, got me a Snickers in, in case. Uh, Snickers are always keep you in line for real, for real. My trainer, my first trucking company was CR England. That's who I got my CDL from. Uh, I spent 18 months with them so they could waive my three grand tuition because the deal was I had to work for them about 18 months. Uh, the tuition was $2,995. So I had to work for them for a certain amount of time so that tuition would be waived. Uh, but that's neither here nor there, but my trainer. Uh, I forgot his name, but he was a cool, cool dude. He always used to drink a Pepsi and eat a Snickers. So, I got a Snickers. I ain't got no Pepsi, uh, because it's a 7-Up product, not a Pepsi Cup product. So, let's hit this road. Get this money, but man, I, I'm blessed for real. Like, on some real, uh, focus on my family, my kids, paying my child support, paying extra on my child support so I can get out get out the arrearage. Uh, I got probably a couple more things I need to do to, a uh, couple things I need to do to uh, get these two credit card debts off my credit report. Um, it's minor too. Like when I mean minor, I mean the debt is small, like 600, and seven hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it, my credit score already was got raised. Uh, was it ten points? Yeah, ten points. Over the weekend, my credit score got raised, so that's good. Uh, Cause I'm trying to get me a. Uh, my brother-in-law, he's been married to my sister for fifteen years, and he a real, real cool dude. And uh, shout out to Mike, man. Uh, I love you, dog. If you ever watch my videos. Uh, he don't even know I got a YouTube channel. But anyways, he, the dude, he worked for Ford, and I'm going to get me a Bronco. And my brother-in-law is going to help me get it. Meaning, he going to plug me in. So, yeah. I can't believe my fucking going to say, Dr. Pepper tastes like cherry coke. Boy, <laughs> you need to. Yo. I will say this, this is the second week, second week. I ain't doing this for no YouTube. 
Like this is reality. This is my second week. Second week with no weed. And I, y'all know uh, I've been stopped smoking cigarettes. But dog, this is my second week with no marijuana. I mean, I got my kids and everything, so I'm not getting high or nothing like that. But before my kids came into town, I stopped smoking weed. Uh, kept giving me bad, bad, bad headaches. And my brother-in-law broke it down to me. It's, it's because, dog, that dispensary shit, bro, that the weed at the dispensary, that shit got chemicals in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was experiencing the same thing. Kept getting headaches and everything, but I feel good. Uh, I'm going to give me some Asha Waganda. My sister be taking that for stress and anxiety. I heard that shit really work, for real. So I'm going to give me some Asha Waganda. But uh, this is my second week with no weed, y'all. I feel good. It's unbelievable. Dog, I'm waiting on R. Kelly, dog, to drop another album. I was, I was listening to R. Kelly this morning. Dog, let me stop the truck. Dog. R. Kelly, dog. R. Kelly is literally, the li- literally, this nigga is the king of R and B, bro. Like I- I'm not, like, he is musically talented. And when I mean musically talented, bro, R. Kelly can fucking sing, real shit. Let's get back. I mean, he really the king of R and B. But that's my opinion, though. is rude you give them you know what i'm saying or dog you know you know what's rude as fuck to me you hold the door open for somebody and they don't say shit that's rude as fuck like bro in react dog outside of this youtube and me being a truck driver i'm a really nice guy like i'll be holding the door for people i'll even hold the door and wait for them to even you know what i'm saying like dude i'll actually hold the door for a long period of time for people like, I ask people how they doing. Uh, dude, I'm, I'm really, really, really a, a, a very, uh, I'm, I'm a very nice person. You know what I'm saying? But people be rude as the fuck. I took my kids roller skating yesterday. They had a ball. Man. I met this girl Saturday. Let me tell you. Shit. I'm changing everything about me. No, I, I'm changing. Listen, fellas, change for a woman. Don't ever change for no dude. Shit. Change for a good woman. You know what I'm saying? A woman that got a great personality. You know what I'm saying? Come from a good home. You know what I'm saying? Her vibe, her energy is, is, is A1 like steak sauce. Like, dude, when I tell you this girl I met, dog. Dog, she, she the whole package, bro. And she got delivered right to me. <laughs> Bro, for real, she the whole package. And I'm blessed that she got delivered on my front porch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I'm not playing. Bro, her energy and her vibe is A1 like steak sauce. Like, I ain't making this shit up. Like, bro, I feel like I'm, I'm in high school, dog. Like, the, the way she make me feel, I'm always smiling and everything, man. We only been talking two days. But I can tell this shit gonna go somewhere. Let me grab another gear on y'all. Here. Woo! I'm the man out here. Shit, all I gotta do is stay focused. <laughs> Listen, uh, the road to success is always gonna be under construction. <laughs> you hear what I said? I said the road to success is always gonna be under construction. I got that from a church. I'm on that. Your body's calling. Oh, I can hear your body calling. Your body's calling. Oh. That boy R. Kelly, boy. You know, you know when, when you know when certain people go to the jailhouse or penitentiary and they get out, they be a better man, a better entertainer. A lot of stuff be a different 
different for him, man. For real, I bet you R. Kelly working on some shit right now. I, he cooking up while he cooking up. You could best believe that. <laughs> she, you know, she. Uh, R. Kelly, he in that penitentiary, but I bet you he cooking up while he cooking up. He, he got some shit brewing. He got some shit in the oven. You can believe that. Man. I was like, man, he, man, that R. Kelly, bro, his vocals, that's all I'm about when it comes to these R&B singing ass niggas, vocals. Your body's calling, I can hear your body calling, your body's calling. A little slippery out here. <laughs> Jeez. Woo! They need to fix this over here by Alexis Road. Real. Swift! You know what Swift stand for? Sure wish I finished training. Damn. I used to work for CRST. You know what CRST for? You know what CRST stand for? Continuously recruiting student tragedy. I know that hurt. I know that hurt. I used to work for CRST for about 18, two years, 18 months, two years. Let me go ahead and grab another gear on them.
truck and outside of the truck. Always be aware of your surroundings because uh, we watch the news. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of negative ass shit on the news. You, you got to be conscious and you got to be aware of who and what the fuck is around you. Because a lot of people on Google shit. For real, I'm not. No, there's some, there's some shit going on. Nigga, they closing pharmacies. Uh, the price of food are high. Man, you got people uh, shooting people at bars and shit. Man, dude, there's some shit going on. It's some shit that's out of our hands. Uh, but you got to be conscious and be aware of what the fuck going on. I'm about to give me some iron setters. That, that means I will have three pairs of work boots that cost over $200. I'll take that back. These were $170. 175 ish My Timberland, they was $190, so that's $200. I love shopping for work boots. Shit, women like a man who wear work boots. Shit. Yeah, the Jordans and Nikes, yeah, that shit do. But at the end of the day, you a grown ass man. And you a grown ass woman. You need some work shit. Thank you. 
everybody pulled over. So he ain't thinking about my ass. But I don't want him to notice that my foot was right here. It's just more reason for that man in that blue monkey outfit to say something to me. And I ain't got time to be talking to no cop. I don't wear no blue monkey outfit, he does.
I did not know that. Love's truck stop or travel stop has more locations than Pilot and Flying J. I thought Pilot and Flying J was, I mean, I thought they had, nigga, I really thought Pilot and Flying J had more locations than, uh, which one called it in Love's. Love's is a, is a real, real big truck stop. And I, I mean, as far as locations wise, Bro, yeah, it is massive, and I mean massive. But Love's also has restaurants that you wouldn't find at Fight.
it don't mean nothing to me because my brother-in-law about to help me get a Bronco. you guys watching uh with that being said i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one hey man i appreciate the love and the support man thank you for watching uh if you did like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and share my content man tell people to come join my channel and everything uh yeah so that being said uh, i'm gonna wrap it up